Hey you guys, it's Steffi Pie and I've got things to say today. We're going to do a dupe this look. Alright guys, I know you guys want to run out and buy all the new palettes that they got out there, but you never know what somebody's got under that Christmas tree for you. So you know what? Why don't we just shop our stash? I even got a little poem for you guys, a little song. Are you guys ready for this? Let's get started. Alright guys, <clears throat> me and my poet laureate, which I am, you know what I'm saying, I can write like a mo. But anyway, <laughs> let's get started with this little poem. I'm going to read something to you guys, and uh, I came up with this on the fly, it may be stupid, I don't care. I want you guys to hear it anyway. You ain't got to run out and buy something new, because you never know what's waiting under the Christmas tree for you. So let's use what we've got without another thought, so we can save all our cash by shopping our stash. All right, guys, that's my little poem for you. So, I know you want to buy that little James Charles palette, and that's what this video is titled. You know, the James Charles Morphe whatever collaboration. I don't know what I've got it named, but anyway, I want to do this little look that I've got here. Let me pull the you guys a little bit closer. I'm going to keep you on camera while I do so. All right, this is the look that I have created with blues and some glitter and just, I mean... Um, these are the colors that would be in his palette, except for the glitter, you know. <laughs> I have added that by Trading Mecca, of course. I always work with Trading Mecca, they're awesome. I did do the eye first before I did the base because I thought, well, if there's some fallout, I need to have that on first. So, anyway, this, with my hooded eye, you guys, this is the look that I have created with a dupe this look. I'm going to create that look on this eye. I'm going to show you guys how I did it. Um, let's get started. First things first, what we're going to do is we are going to get our milk stick. This milk thing here. This is awesome. This is by NYX. It's white. It gives you a wonderful base to start with. So I'm going to just put that on the eyelid and a little bit under the eye. I, I just, you know, that way I can have a nice base. I like this as a base. I mean, I've used concealer as a base, which is awesome, you know, but I, I like this. So anyway, let's just use this. There we go. Oh God, you, you can see I've been messing with all these colors. Uh, <laughs> all right, there we go. And I do not set the base right now because I want to get the best color payoff and that is what I'm going for. Guys, I'm just gonna back into the old trusty Take Me Back to Brazil palette because this is one of the best, lowest price options I can think of that has this rainbow look. Now, people say these shadows aren't great. They are fine for me. I've used them for almost a year now. I've had this palette. I may have to get rid of it, you know, eventually, but um, it has actually worked beautifully for me. So, anyway, I'm going to take this uh, Sigma let's see, E38 and I'm going to go into this beautiful blue color right here. This little, this little guy right there. And we're going to get started. We're just going to place this color and we're going to go in a. a uh, we're going to go right in here. I'm going to start here on the outer edge because I'm just going to go in that crease and above the crease. All right. And I want this to be my transition color. As you can see on this side, it turned into a transition color. It is beautiful. All right. And I'm also going to sweep that outward as I did this one. And since I did my eyes first, I was able to use a makeup wipe and kind of, you know, sweep that away. So that I'm going to do that on this side as well. So let's get started with this. This looks awesome already. And I have to build up this color, of course, which is fine with me. I don't mind building up color. I know his is probably, his is more pigmented. And, uh, you know, you have immediate color payoff. But sometimes immediate color payoff is bad for people who don't know what they're doing. I mean, yes, he says, unleash your inner artist, which I would love to have the palette to unleash my inner, unleash my inner artist. But you know what? With these, with these colors I've got right here, I'm unleashing my inner artist anyway, because I can take inspiration from what he does and everything and what from anybody else does and just use what I've got because I'm a mom with two kids and we live on disability. And so I can't run out and buy every little palette that's out there on the market. I can't buy... Uh, a 42 or four, you know, with taxes, it'd be 42 something. I can't run out and get that right now. It's almost Christmas. What am I going to do for my kids? I'm definitely not going to buy that. You know, I'm going to do for my babies first. So, I'll show you guys what I can do with what I've got. So, I hope you're enjoying this video. Sorry, I'm starting to tear up. Oh, God, watch out. Because I love my kids so much. Oh, uh, 
anyway, <laughs> let's get let's get, keep going. Um, this color actually blends out really good. It uh, looks like a cloud on my eyes. Just beautiful. So um, anyway, <laughs> oh gosh, you can tell I'm my mama. I love my babies. Ugh. All right, the next brush I'm going to take, I have, uh, I'm going to use mostly Sigma brushes with this because, hey, might as well use the good brushes if I can. I got this little travel kit, as you guys know, but anyway, um, this little guy, I'm going to use this. This is a, oh gosh, what is it called? An E25, okay, and I'm going to take a darker, uh, I'm going to take, actually, I'm going to take the karaoke out of the Laura Lee Party Animal Palette. This is a bright cobalt blue it looks like that one that's cola in his palette so anyway we're going to take that so karaoke and cola they look like they're almost sisters hey sisters all right we're going to pack that on the out, outer edge here outer v yeah and we're going to bring that inward get that in the crease so we can get that dimension going isn't that pretty i'm gonna go back to that blending brush Blend out these edges. <laughs> My son's in trouble. Uh oh. My daughter's trying to do her homework. I'm trying to film, so you know. And then the baby's trying to do what he wants to do. And of course he's loud. <laughs> and he don't care what we're doing. <laughs> That's what toddlers do. I'm just gonna pack on some more of that color because it's absolutely stunning. I love this color and it, I know it looks a lot like that cola. I want to have as much pigment as possible. I hope this is showing up on camera like it is in real life because it's absolutely stunning. I know I don't have the same lighting that they have but you know what? It is beautiful. Anyway, okay. Our next color that we're going to lay down and we're going to lay this down with one of these Luxie brushes. Um, I have, let's see here. Yeah, this guy right here. Let's use him. We're going to go in with, I'm going to go in with two different colors. I want to use a mix of this beautiful orange right here. It's dark orange and drinks or drinks <laughs> in uh, Laura Lee's palette because it has a, it's a bright, bright orange. And so it brings out the beautiful brightness in this light or this dark orange. So anyway, I'm going to use a mix of the two. I'm going to put that right there on the inner or the middle of the eye. And at first it looks muddy and that's okay because I build this up. I tend to build this up and, and then pack it over. I want to blend first, kind of blend it in to what I've got here. All right, cool. Next one we're going to do, we're going to lay down this beautiful... Uh, purple color here and it called hangover. I love it because it matches my uh, it matches this quite well So let's lay this or it's called hungover. Excuse me <laughs> I'm gonna dip my brush in that and tap it off because it's quite pigmented We're just gonna go in that inner corner. All right guys. I'm sorry about that I uh, actually what I've been doing is I took this large brush right here and I'm going in with the I want to say it surprised you, but I'm going to go in with the um, illuminating powder from Wet n Wild. And it is this beautiful uh, blue reflective, oh my gosh, beautiful thing. And I'm just taking it on uh, this brush. And I've been taking this and blending out um, <laughs> everything here. And I'm using it as an inner corner highlight. And so I'm just blending, blending, blending. And you may think that looks crazy, but uh, I promise it will look good in the end when I get everything cut. And which is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to cut the crease. <laughs> so let's take a little bit of our Maybelline Fit Me uh, Concealer on the back of our hand. All right. Now, let's go in. Just do this. And this is just going to be a light little cut because I am going to throw a beautiful color on here and then some glitter. So it's going to look awesome. I cannot wait. Okay. All right. Here comes the fun part. Oh my God. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Oh my gosh. Where are you, my friend? Where are you? 
Oh no, I don't have it. Where is it at? <gasps> Here it is. The Milani Hypnotic Lights. I'm going to put this on my lid. Okay, exactly where I put that concealer. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. Oh my gosh. All right. The Hypnotic Lights color is almost fully dry. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go into my Trading Mecca Macaroon palette. This is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. There's this beautiful glitter right there. It's pressed glitter. I'm just going to take my finger, press it in there. Just get a little dab of that. See, see, yes, beautiful. And I'm gonna put that on top of this Milani color. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish up this eye. All I'm gonna do is just add an eyeliner. I'm just adding this eyeliner, as you can see, and just smoking out the bottom lash line. All right, guys, all I did was just smoke out that bottom lash line, added my lashes, and uh, finished up my face, of course. You know, did my bronzer and all that good stuff. And I added a little bit of Jeffree Star's uh, Celebrity Skin. This is my favorite nude. It works great on me. Now, guys, what I'm saying is if you can't afford it at this time of the year, don't run out and get it. I have been guilty of, you know, buying something because I think it's on sale or it's a good price at the moment or whatever. Um, and I've had to pull back on my spending and... Guys, that's what I'm saying for you. Think about it. Really think about it. Do you have those colors in your collection? Do you have this? Did you get this in your BoxyCharm? I mean, um, are you a member uh, of the Trading Mecca family? Do you have some of these glitters and stuff? I mean, I know that didn't come in the James Charles palette, but I mean, <laughs> look at this look I created. I mean, I know it's not perfect, but come on, all these colors are in his palette. I created this look with colors that are in his palette. So, you know, it's up to you if you want to spend 40 bucks on that. But you know what? 40 bucks to buy a lot of groceries for my family. and buy at least four Christmas presents for my kids and probably a palette from the Dollar General. You know, it may not be the best palette in the world, but you know what? You can make anything work if you're a good makeup artist, okay? So, think about what you're buying this, this time of year, okay? Don't just run out and buy it. Don't just put it on your credit card because it's a good deal think about it okay that's all i'm saying consumerism baby we gotta watch what we're doing so you know anyway i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed my little my little uh, poem i had for you and i hope you've enjoyed seeing this eye look i'm going to do a couple more eye looks i don't know if i'm going to do it with about the james charles palette but i know i'm going to do probably the jeffree star palette as well so anyway if you've enjoyed dupe this look let me know. Let me know what you want me to do because I'll keep on duping, baby. Anyway, I love you guys. Remember, my God, I shall supply all my needs. According to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Bye.